What's up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and things and things of the interwebs? Um, Midnight Run Creations is back out here in the shop um, working on the Granny Smith the Apple Granny, the Granny Apple, the Granny Apple truck. I don't know. There are too many trucks. I can't keep these names straight on stuff. <laughs> um, was so M was M uh, getting ready to do the fuel system we got the tank in so just started breaking things out to start getting the fuel system on it so customer um, he's gonna be doing a supercharger and stuff on it so um, and then we're also doing the holly harness so you have to do something different with the fuel system if you need to see why then look back um, I think a handful of videos back or whatever and I've got whole explanation on the different fuel system setups and stuff like that too so um, an amendment to that is I guess the older Crown Vicks have a return style um, fuel system on it so might check that out too if you're looking to, to go a cheap route or something we might look at that at, um, along the lines for something else but as it is with the 03 and up like we mostly use um, they are a returnless fuel system so go back and look in that other video if you want to see the reasoning for that and the way around it same with the um, wiring system as well too uh, the video I think right before that right after that one talks about all the different wiring options too so anyway but this one <clears throat> we are going with a different fuel system because we got a different fuel tank um, he's doing a supercharger so he needs more fuel so we have some awesome braided fuel lines um, we have all these rad fittings that are inside here and then this actually is the aluminum fuel rails itself so the um, injectors just pop up into the bottom uh, eh, there we go Aha. Uh, yeah so the injectors just go bang, and pop into the bottom of this he's going the inside so um, I was getting this stuff pulled uh, we're just kind of looking at some stuff and I didn't see it on this one kind of they're all the injectors are just gross they the way this is set up is not a really great design of Ford um, both so on the so first of all on the injectors as you can see it's a freaking like pit down inside of there so there's just absolutely crap that catches along this valve cover here inside the nooks of these injectors inside the nooks of the, the coils and down inside the plug holes are like full of crap and stuff inside there too so i was starting to clean things out because one i was working with it laying across it um also um well it started with the fact that the throttle body needs to be replaced um as i said on the smurf truck the whole fuel system and wiring setup is with the holly it doesn't work with a drive-by wire uh, throttle body so we have to swap out the throttle body on the blue truck it was just a crown vic throttle body um, this one the customer got a mustang one that way he can feel all you know badass stuff having the pony on there um, the pony's gonna be upside down though i don't know if i can take that plate out and switch it around uh, but yeah so i think the pony's gonna be upside down because the throttle body mounts this direction and points through um, if we try to turn around then it's gonna ram right into the fuel rail that's on the top here with it so unless we have some kind of spacer it's going to ram right into the the fuel rail um, as well as the the throttle linkage is on the back side which doesn't work very well with how this is all set up and the way it's supposed to pull and stuff on it so um, i'll double check when we get this back on to see if we can do something else but it'll be really cool i'm trying to work with my neighbor who's a millwright is figure out how to make an adapter so that the throttle body will actually face forward like and LS and a lot of well normal freaking motors do instead of shooting off to this side or to that side and stuff onto it where it's going to run into stuff and, and whatnot with it so this setup isn't as bad isn't really bad because um we started to use the um factory truck booster so that's what we use on this we'll replace the booster he's got over there um i think lead brakes he ordered a, a power brake booster for the truck because we just keep it if the truck comes with power um brakes with a booster then just leave it now like i told him and like i said a lot of others like with the wiring i mentioned before you might as well replace it i mean if it looks pristine and awesome then i mean by all means but check it out um because even it looks like i said with the wiring even if it looks nice there could be an issue like this thing just looks nasty and stuff so um sure as hell if we leave it like it is and throw the crown big master on there because that's what happens is um so you can either put the crown big booster on there which you have to mutilate the bracket system or mutilate the firewall to get to mount up or you cut it out and you put the crown big firewall in there but then you take away these support ridges which then this thing flexes like crazy then you got this huge crown big booster that sits right there with it or you can do it a whole lot simply and either buy an aftermarket uh, booster bracket and master and stuff 
that will plug into, you know, that may need adapters to plug into that or one of the proportioning valves so that you can then eliminate this. But then you have to repipe this stuff and these brake lines suck ass to do anything with. So just be aware of that. They're a, like a double rolled and they have this shitty black coating crap on the outside of them. So the tubing thing doesn't like to grab on correctly if they roll wrong. And anyway, it's a whole freaking fiasco. It sucks. Look back at my videos for my Dodge because I did that and it sucks. It royally sucks. And I do flaring and sweating and stuff on my normal HVAC job. So it's not like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It just, they suck ass to do. So best way is the way we do it with pretty much everything that I have here in the shop and like we've done for quite a long time is you just use the power brake booster and bracket and then you connect it to the, the uh, uh, truck, sorry, the truck booster and bracket and the truck pedal assembly that's in there. So you don't have to try and put the Crown Vic pedal assembly and all that crap in there as well too. Just making life a lot easier. Same with the whole thing of shit of using firewalls and floors and stuff. It's just stupid. There's no reason for it. So anyway, and if your truck doesn't have power brakes like uh, this one over here, the Smurf truck, it didn't have power brake. So we just got, I have a guy that makes the brackets. So he just got the, the bracket assembly and that's what we use on it with that. So yeah, fun stuff. Fun stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. That one has um, an aftermarket booster into it. So it's smaller than the Crown Vic, but it's still big and kind of a pain in the ass and stuff on it. So, um, but I had to go that route. Uh, nah, nah. Yeah, so this one, so you can either, like he did, we're getting a new power, so truck power brake booster. Um, I have a guy that makes the brackets, so if you need those brackets, then let me know or if you, you gotta use it for this. So we'll replace that. The Crown Vic Master will go right on there. Sometimes they just bolt right up. Sometimes they have to waller the holes out to get it to slide on. Regardless, it fits right on. The lines plug right into the back side of it. That's the other kind of negative thing to know about. So the nice thing is if you get um, a aftermarket uh, brake booster and master cylinder assembly and stuff, um, it's standard, they all do like the GM, so they put the lines on this side um, of it, where the Ford, this Crown Vic one, it puts it on this side, so it does get close to your intake tubing and stuff, so it is kind of nice to have it on the other side in that case, but whatever, this works, we make it work, um, just the little things on it, so yeah, um, and I sell that too, so I offer um, the Crown, or the, sorry, the truck booster and bracket, um, as a kit as well too that you can get from me. So let me know if you need that. But yeah, so we'll get that changed out before you get too much stuff on here that we're not, so we have plenty of room to work with stuff and do what we need to do. So we'll get, at least get the, the booster replaced, obviously not with the master on there, but yeah. Um, so anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, the point of all this was putting that throttle body, because this was drive-by wire, so changing it over to a uh, pedal style, cable style. So cleaning things up and stuff and then realizing there's gunk all inside of everything, um, discoloration and whatnot. So I started pulling things to kind of look at stuff and clean it up. Um, started pulling plugs. They looked like absolute crap. So pulled all the plugs out, replaced all the, the spark plugs in it. Um, he may be getting different ones with the supercharger. That's fine. It just, I want it to run decently. Cause again, if you don't do this stuff, you go to fired and everything's all together and you've got some weird stuff going on, especially with these freaking coil packs. Ford, I think it's Ford in general, because my mom's got a Mustang, and I think I've said this before, but her car sits a lot because it's just kind of her fun car. She's got a newer Mustang, and if it sits for too long, of course, they're in the Portland Longview, or Portland and Vancouver area where they're on the other side of the mountain of Washington where there's more moisture, but these get, they start to foul up. They just get moisture and stuff in them, which is a no shit because, again, this is sitting down in, no duh, because this is sitting down inside of here. That pocket fills full of freaking water and everything, because these were. When I pulled these, that spark plug well was just full of stuff, water and gunk and everything else and stuff there. So it was lots of fun. Had to pour the coal packs and then make a little adapter hose to get in there and vacuum that stuff out and clean it before I pulled the spark plugs. And even after I pulled the spark plugs, there was all kinds of sludge crap down inside of there. So had to do it again and carefully vacuuming, cleaning that out and stuff. Pulled the plugs. They were all gross and everything and stuff. So like I said, went ahead and put new spark plugs in it. Um, they're just the standard ones. The B or something like that so um, but yeah and then put new coil packs on too because they were all old in this color the rubber boots were brittle on them and stuff so got these cool summit ones so threw those on um, again he may be changing all this stuff because of the supercharger but that's fine I just again I wanted to try and make sure we're 
starting to get a good base for um, when we fire this up and when I have Marty do the, the remote tune to get everything initially set up and stuff onto it. So, um, but yeah, so I knew that. And then, like I said, pulling things apart, found that all of these um, injectors are just disgusting on the ends and stuff, as well as the other ones. Plus the instructions for these rails say that you're supposed to, uh, I mean, you're supposed to pull these anyway, but they advise pulling them all the way out so you can check the rubber O-ring on either end and then see if they need to be um, replaced or whatnot. These all, the rubber rings look, so far look like they're okay. It's just a matter of, like I said, that, you know, it's, I cleaned that one a little bit, so it's not bad, but um, here's one. Yeah, see, this is what they look like, all gummed up and gross and stuff, so um, I'm getting them all cleaned off and whatnot, so they should be fine to go. Plus, I gotta make a note of, um, where is it? There we are. Um, I have to make a note of the numbers that are on the injectors because that's part of the setup with the Holly harness is you need to um, either select from a, a pre-listed amount or, yeah, there's a, God, I can't even think of what I'm talking about. So on the Holly tuner, you can select your injectors from either their list or if you have one that's not listed, you can find one that's similar in the list or if you plug a laptop in, then you can actually go in and, and I think search or plug this in. I'm not sure. We might have to do that with the blue truck because um, I selected it and it fires and then it shuts right off again. So I'll have to see what's going on with that. I got set up with Marty. I got the stupid cable that you need um, on the way. Oh yeah, which speaking of that, I probably, I need to have the customer owner of this truck get that communication cable because we're we'll probably have to go through and do some communicating and whatnot with it. Oh, in fact, we need to because Marty needs to do the remote tune. So we need that cable that attaches from the poly stuff to an actual laptop because heaven forbid they include that in a damn harness that you get it's like two thousand dollars so you think they'd have these freaking sensors which the customer got those it's i don't know how much and but oh oh speaking of that i'll go through that anyway but um yeah so you think that i've said this before you think they have the damn sensors with it you know oil and temp and all that kind of regular stuff that any freaking motor has but no and then same with the communication cable for going from the holly harness to a laptop you'd think they'd also have that on as well but no you got to spend another 50 dollars for that crap so i mean i love holly and their stuff i'm using it on my ls it's just but even the ls you, it doesn't have the um sensors and stuff so it's kind of an irritating thing i mean why the hell would you not include the sensors? You need it on every motor, especially these mod motors, because like I said, on the blue truck, you can't reuse the temperature and the oil and stuff like that with this one. You have to have different sensors that it plugs into. So with that being said, the customer told me I was edumacated. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find this. Da -da 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 so yes, this is from low dollar Low Daughter Motorsports, so uh, badass. I need to reach out to them and like talk to them and stuff. I'll see if I can tag them in the videos and stuff, but um, pretty freaking cool stuff. Um, ah, like, significantly, yes, I'm sorry, this sucks. Um, but yeah, so they have sensors and all kinds of fun stuff there. So like I said, Low Dollar Motorsports. Um, does it list the pricing on here? I don't see it. But yeah, so there's their stuff. Um, significantly cheaper um, as I said it's the oil uh, yeah so the intake air temperature sensor coolant sensor, and oil pressure sensor uh, you can get a fuel pressure one if you want to if you want to monitor that but you don't need to um, same with the knock sensor you don't need it but yeah so the customer said those are significantly cheaper than obviously getting the Holly ones um, and stuff are and same thing they, they plug and play with it so but yeah so that's where we're at getting your injectors clean and then gonna start mounting the rails um, and the crossover I'll go through more on that as we start to get things together so you can see um, and then we'll run the fuel system back and around um, with a cool map that page that's all scribbled and stuff I did not do that <laughs> that's from these guys um, so the customer got the all the fuel components from Chris Jones over here at uh, BRB so blowbyracing.com so I guess check them out. Here's a close up for other fuel stuff. So they sent a whole kit. Um, I guess the customer talked with them about what he's got going on. So there's the fuel lines all together and stuff. Um, and there's all the fittings and whatnot, even a regulator and stuff that's all in here. So filter, all that kind of stuff. So pretty cool. So check them out. Um, obviously there's also Andrew Peterson with f100performance.com. He can do the same thing, talk to him. He'll lay out everything. Like these guys, it's just the fuel stuff. Andrew can provide you with the tank, um, the fuel pump, and then all of this fun 
stuff as, as well too with it all together so it's all in stuff and its fittings are really nice I used them on the blue truck so we'll see how these ones work these are like the slip-on style too with the locking clamp thing where Andrews are just the, the push style ones once you heat them up push them on so we shall see I'll let you know how these work and stuff because I'm not afraid to say that stuff is crap or stuff is not crap like I said with the Holly it's cool but it's definitely these things it's just something to think about there's as i said in the other like I said, go check out the other video i go to the breakdown there's pluses and minuses on all this stuff so anyway i'm gonna get back to work after i get some more energy or maybe not because it sounds like i'm already all energied up so <laughs> all right life. later